Hi and welcome to today's Thought for the Day with St Peter's Parish Hallowell. My name's Steph Mulwinney. Now that we're into the second month of lockdown, things are starting to really be quite difficult, aren't they? Um, so I've really been encouraged by the message to keep going in today's passage, which I'm going to read to you now. It's Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. I think that description, growing weary and losing heart, has been quite apt for me a few times in the last couple of weeks. Um, so it's really encouraging to to read this um, call to run with perseverance, the race marked out for us. But what encouragement does it give us? First of all, to fix our eyes on Jesus. Jesus, who gave up his throne in heaven to be born as a human, to, to suffer every day um, in different ways through his life and leading up to his final suffering and death on the cross and he did it all for the joy set before him and that same joy is set before us with even greater confidence the other encouragement it gives us is this great cloud of witnesses chapter 12 follows on from the, the famous chapter 11 that lists hero after hero from the old testament telling their stories of faith looking forward to what they couldn't yet see I've found, um, as we've been worshipping together on a Sunday morning via Zoom, um, that the as we worship with just my family around me, but knowing that I'm worshipping with all of you in your homes as well, some of whom I can see in little thumbnails on the, pic, on the um, screen and some not, I've found that it makes it easier for, for me to be aware of the great cloud of witnesses that I can never see because they've gone ahead of us to glory. Um, both those Old Testament characters, but also people who've gone ahead more recently. I remember how blessed I was the Sunday after my dad died, worshipping in church and just having a really strong sense that he was there worshipping alongside us. And that remains true today. And so we can draw encouragement that we've got this great cloud of witnesses around us, cheering us on through tough times, and that Jesus is there amongst them, the greatest cheerleader of all. So let's do what it says, throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, fix our eyes on Jesus and run with perseverance, the race marked out for us. Have a good day.